Hey there everyone, Jack here and welcome to another Gwent gameplay video and today I am revisiting a deck that I always play after a new patch and that's um, Mount Earth Here we are, here we have the Mount Earth Okay, he's kind of creepy, uh, me, me too uh, so, um, yeah, uh, monitor deck, um, no patch, uh, now there's like weird leaders like this, um, we're getting some uh, stuff that a lot of players have been wanting to, which is the, which are the, the leader cards, which are kind of nice to, to see coming back. So, um, here we have this monitor list, so uh, usually my monitor list, uh, my monitor lists were um, like uh, play necros, play larvas, um, maybe with penitent, just uh, play swarm as much as you can. Um, but in the last expansion we got sick fright, so you have the potential to purify your doomed tokens so Siegfried basically counts as for example if you have six drones it counts as six carryover uh, for Mount Earth so um, this deck is a different list I have uh, tested it one game um, I lost but I know how I could have won because I kind of misplayed um, and it felt good. Um, it's still a miracle deck. Miracle decks are the ones that have like this crazy combo that, well, it's not a combo, it's just play mounted and mounted be like 20 points or more. It's not exactly a combo, but uh, it, well, it is, but not that crazy. Well, it, in reality, it's pretty simple. Um, but the thing is that I'm calling it a miracle deck because um, you really need Plague Maiden in round 1. If you get that, you're pretty good. If you don't, you may win, but... I don't know. I mean, you can still win, but... I mean, yes. Well, the thing is that I have tried um, to play Mounter. The thing is that with Sigfright you can swarm with tokens. And then uh, you purify them all with Siegfried and um, you basically get a bigger monitor than before. So, uh, in this deck we are swarming uh, only with Plague Maiden. So, you try to get that Plague Maiden with your Mata. If you get it in hand, perfect. If you don't, uh, let's see if you have Renew and Oniromancy in your hand so you can matter the plague maiden if not well then you gotta try to play your Karanthir in round two basically if you have plague maiden in round one in your hand you go plague you go Karanthir round one plague maiden round two if you don't have plague maiden in in your hand in round one you go plague maiden uh sorry Karanthir round two plague maiden uh, round 3. Um, you're basically getting some points with this Bone Talisman and Trees. Uh, this Bone Talisman is usually going to be like 12 points plus. So it's pretty good. Um, and Trees just can pick up your Bone Talisman and if you are not okay with that Bone Talisman uh, you have this natural selection. I'm not playing this natural selection so Tris has other targets because Tris is always going to have other targets. There's always Boiling Oil, Oil of Rebuke, Thunder, Torn Dust, this shit. Um, but I'm just playing it because it's the only removal we have in this deck. And a deck with zero removal is kind of doomed to lose, basically. So, um, here in the Bronze Package G, uh, we have uh, kind of a lot of force. Um, I well, basically, Noon Wraith, Plumart, and Broxa are here because I need some force to catch on on the provisions. 
Uh, we have Foglins because they are buff, they are pretty good. Um, and it comes as two units. Like you swarm two units and you get two units in the graveyard. And the same for Wild Hunt Rider. Uh, you swarm a bit and now that they are buff, they are eight, which is pretty good. And you have overwhelming hunger because um, what I found while trying to play other um, decks of Mounted is that you needed those consumes and those death wishes. So I'm trying overwhelming hunger. Um, so you can, uh, well, this has three chargers. So you use one on the foglet uh, and the other two with the two Plague Maidens. You get uh, one from Granthir and the one from Plague Maiden. So, um, I don't know, I thought that it was consistent enough to try to play with it. Um, so yeah, um, Entra Larva almost out of include, um, and that's it. We're running Petrus Filter because uh, it's kind of free low against uh, Devotion decks, and there's lots of Devotion decks. And if your opponent is not playing a Devotion deck, you just hope they don't have a Bomb Heaver. Um, if they have a Bomb Heaver, you just go hope they run out of removal. Uh, if they run out of removal, um, you lose. And that's why this deck is not good. But we're gonna be playing it anyways, because um, it's what I like to play, these kind of Miracle decks. Uh, that are almost unplayable and I try to make them playable. So, uh, as you can see I'm rank 3 um, because new season. Uh, I ended the season in rank 1, actually my um, my record, my last record was like rank 4. So yeah, after Master Mirror I played um, more than usual. So. Um, let's see, I don't see a plate made, um, mm, what are we kicking here, probably Petri, or this thing, Petri out, um, I don't have the renew in hand, so I should try to high roll, let's try to high roll, let's try another, okay, so we don't have plate maiden, um, in hand. So what are we going to do is just play this round normally. You just play your kind of tribes. Here we have nature's gift, new ability, give some vitality and into symbiosis. So we're just gonna try to play kind of normally and eventually pass. Uh, if he tries to bleed, fine for us. Um, okay, he does that. Um, and he, if he doesn't, should be fine too, I'm not gonna lie, should be fine too. The thing is that uh, playing two Plague Maidens in a single round is pretty weird, because um, you're basically gonna be rogue capped. So yeah, that's not that good. We're gonna play Bruxa. Into this Wandering Trend. Um, yeah, he's probably gonna have like a rebuke. So bleeding this one strength is fine, and uh, developing the um, the thrive earlier is also fine. Um, maybe should have natural selection. It would have been a, a a fine play because we will have swarmed three times and uh, get this trend out of him because now he could rebuke my Bruxa. Or the larva. I think he's gonna go for fob or something. Yeah. And he's gonna um, circle of life again. Or rebuke. This is like one more point. Isn't it like better to kill the Brooks instead of the larva? So um, before he plays like a taller unit. We could play this, but we have TA, so there's no rush with these riders. Um, this is weird. Um, hmm. I think 
I'm playing Plumart here. Just gonna be playing Plumart into the fob. And let's see. Hmm. It's the start of season, so there might be clowns everywhere, uh, just like me. So, yeah. Um, that's expectable. Okay, so there's a leader ping. And we kind of don't care. We can't even uh, kill this thing, anyways. So, what are we doing? Maybe Nagelfar is not bad. Uh, what I want to try is to swarm like a bit. I think it's time now to play Riders though. Let's do the Plumard and play Wild Hunt Rider for some solid 8 points. And I don't know, maybe we play nothing, maybe we play Noon Wraith. I feel like Natural Selection is gonna be pretty slow because he has this thing going. He has two symbioses. Sage. So we could try and pass. Or we could um, play seven points. If he plays a nature though. Um, if he plays a nature, he has nine points. No, eleven. It's gonna be like eleven. And he is gonna catch up. So, I think it's fine to pass here. He's got two engines. Three. He can, like, play the Keres or this thing and easily cut tap on us. So, I think we needed to pass. Alright, so let's see if we can find the... Um, the Plague Maiden. By the way, by the way, in other videos, um, there was this weird lag, and I think I found the solution to that. So I think this should be good. I'm really sorry if right now every time a card is being played, there's lag. I'm sorry. I if what I did that I tested it and it didn't lag. Huh, uh, worked. I mean, didn't work, um, I don't know what else to do, to be honest. I think I'm kicking one of these natural selections. Finding Mara is fine. We're probably playing Mara right now. Because we have no Larva and no Bruxa. So, um, I don't know, let's talk about some stuff. Um, Recording these plant videos uh, is a pretty, is a bit weird to me because um, right now there's no music. It's just the sound effects and the voice lines. And I'm like, is the is the video gonna be weird? But then I always add the background music that I like adding to all my videos, and it turns out to be um, in my personal uh, likeness. Uh, pretty good. Um, so he did that. So just noon wraith. We want to blow something here. I don't know. Uh, oh, I didn't, ex uh, I didn't explain the Renew, I'm so sorry. Uh, the Renew is for Siegfried. Um, if you have the chance to Siegfried in round... I mean, I mean to have um, Plague Maiden in round 1 and 2, you play Siegfried, and then in round 2, while you are pushing and playing the second uh, Plague Maiden, uh, you Renew the Siegfried again. What's more, the Siegfried is gonna remove the Doomed from him, so, I mean, it's pretty fine. And if you manage to get that, uh, your mount is gonna be 30 to 40 points, which is crazy. Um, I don't wanna break Nagalfar. Uh, I don't think I'm ever gonna break that, though. 
we kick this natural selection and this Bruxa and this Foglet okay so we didn't find either one of these nor larva which is shit and um, we're gonna renew a larva are we? yeah larva um, we go back row Um, is he the potion? I don't know. Um, what you can do is against Skalga if they have those ships that ping your units when you play them. Um, it'd be fine if you have the chance or it's your only way out. If I mean, if you play this mounted, it's gonna instantly die by those ships, so you can play Karanthir and summon this, so it doesn't get pinged. Um, it's something weird that I only happened to do once, but it worked, because, yes. I was like against Kalega, and I was like, okay, I gotta save this Karanthir in case he has a ship and I cannot remove it, and that happened. So. I'm gonna play Mara now, maybe. Maybe we got it, right? Maybe you should have blown the ground here. Because what am I gonna grant here? I don't know. I'll just grant here Plague Maiden and I'll play Plague Maiden for 7 maybe. Okay, I'll do this. Um, I'll play this ground here melee. I played this, but I'm not gonna trigger the Death Wish. I'm gonna clear one of the lanes with this, so I can play Mounted in melee. It's gonna be like that. Um, right now, what I'm gonna do is to... Just play Karanthir. Just play Karanthir and let's see. This premium is pretty pog and I don't have it. It's actually pretty pog how the Spectre arrives. People arrive. Okay, maybe we might get uh, fucking rolled by this um, Symbiosis deck. Just because we didn't draw our Plague Maiden in round one. And that's why this is a miracle deck. Um, I'm gonna poggle it. I'm gonna trigger it now, why not? It's like a 10 point play, which is pretty good. The only there are 2 points, Poglet uh, 8 points, which is pretty fine, dude. Actually, nice tempo for early rounds. There's a dunk, huh? Wow, dude. These trends are spawning at 5. Actually, crazy. So, um. Uh, oh, I just realized that this mounted is pretty small. <laughs> I just realized that this mountain is small, dude. It's just small. Because there's only... What, what is it? Like... Yeah, eight, 8 people in the graveyard. It's actually pretty small. Um, what is this on each I'm gonna read? I'm gonna purify his his vitalities. That seems okay. Um, oof, how do I play this? I'm gonna land this. I'm just gonna just gonna play it. I'm probably gonna lose, but I'm gonna include this game anyways in the video because this is the reality. Um, you're gonna lose with this deck. <laughs> You're gonna lose unless you are very talented and you always draw perfectly. Um, you're gonna lose. Um, am I sick fighting right now? Like, this is a fine sick fight. This is a 9 point sick fight. We could do this. It's better than playing a larva of a Bonitian. So I think we just do that. Oh, look, look, look at this 5 hit. I'm gonna bleed this 
He's gonna use the Caress to purify, and now I'm gonna seek fight for value. Now he's gonna purify this and give it vitality or some shit. There we go. Okay, use Caress, and now we go seek fight. There we go. Now we go like this. There we go. Seek fight value, baby. Oh, let's go. Huge sick fright. Actually massive. There's a Piki. He just pinged my armor. So we just play this. Oh no, she's crying. Oh no! Oof. This row is a bit... A bit... I don't know. Um, I think that we're just gonna play mounted as early as we can. He's not gonna have any reset, no total removal, because... Um, Skoyotel Devotion. He's killing my sick fright. No, my sick fright. I think we're playing monitor just now. Maybe I should catch wait. If he kills, I mean, nah. we we'll just play this now and use our bone talisman and trees as as best as we can. Plus, I'm not gonna have to lead a run for zero points or minus one point if we play monitor now. So we just do this now. Plus 9 points, alright. And he didn't even push, we didn't get sick fight for round 1. Well, these things are gonna happen. These things are always gonna happen. Uh, these crazy combos are not always gonna... Um, turn out well. Because it's not possible. Dude, this is fucking massive. Okay, so we do this. We do this. We consume like this. I mean, we don't need to, right? Because we could save it for later. Because there's no death which I want to proc. Or not right now, at least. Maybe I'm... 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2. No, 1, 2, 3, 1, 2, 3, 1. Uh, we go for trees. Let's go! And... Yeah. This is a bit sad. Not gonna lie. Should have killed someone? Nah, there was no one to kill. Um, yeah. I mean, I don't think we were gonna win anyways. I think we were gonna lose anyways. 13, 14, 15, 16. So it will have been 11 more points. So as you can see, uh, we will have still miserably lost. Um, yeah, and by a mile. So, um, yeah, well, at least it's kind of close, right? No, not even close, right? Yeah, yeah, no, not even close. Why? Right? Because we didn't... The, the point with Mounted is to try to get your short third round and then play a Mounted of 40 points. That's the point. And it just didn't happen. Because in round 1 we couldn't push, because we just didn't have Plague Maiden. And... Uh, yeah. We just couldn't push round 1 until he passes. And then... Sorry. Um, on round 2, play the second Maiden, keep pushing <clears throat> with one Talisman or Trees. And then try to get a short third round. That's basically the plan.
So we got the white frost. Whitey frosty. Hmm. Oh, here we go. Oh, we got the three dudes. Let's get it. Let's get it, boys. We got them. Nice. We're gonna kick this. Let's see if we can find like a fallout or something. Gonna kick this. It will be pretty nice to have a fallout or something. Not gonna lie. Not gonna lie. Ahem. <clears throat> Please. Okay. We can on each and one of them. Probably gonna be the riders because they have an actual condition. Um, we're gonna play the Plague Maiden melee. I mean the Grand Three melee. So we just play everything else ranged. Let's let's see. Just try to play your Grand Three and Plague Maidens in melee. Because then your cheese and or your mana are gonna break, probably. The thing is that your mounter may break, but you can always later if you have a chance of um, someone so you can play that. Okay, that happened. So um, we play Pulmer. No, we play Broxa, what am I saying? I'm gonna play the Pulmart. Um, uh, bleeding one of these makes him have to play uh, to, to proc the Thrive. So if he wants to Natural Selection or Parasite or, well, just play any special in the next turn and the other one, one of the Larvas is gonna die. So this bleed is actually fine. Although you might think that um, it might be, uh, the the bleed might get countered by Thrive procs, but it's actually not the case. I mean, I could get Streak, at, so I guess this is fine. This plays around at a Streak. Let's see. Piarian Phantom. So we play our Dominance dudes. We'll play Damian Studs. Okay, so he's moving my plumard. Which is bad for me. But he is he, he has blown one of the his targets, right? That's a good thing. Uh-huh. Okay, so the Plague Maiden is gonna be worse because the row is gonna be full, but we just don't care, basically. Just don't care. Um, it, it's the play, you just gotta do this, you know? I mean, I could hold this because he may pass, so I don't have to blow a leader charge if he passes. Okay, that happens. Um, armor. Close. Um, we're gonna seek fight now, I'm pretty sure. Do this. Actually, this summons three more dudes. I'm gonna do this. We get more carryover from Sick Fright, uh, plus more swarming. Okay, so we got a pass out of him. So we didn't Sick Fright, but no problem. No problem, guys. There's. It's really no problem. We get a pass on him, which is pretty important. So now, we're just gonna push this round. And actually, leader this thing, it plays for a... Like, it's a point slam. I would have loved to see you fall it here. But if we don't, no problem. But this hand is pretty weird. No. Uh, what's our new... We could renew Karantir. Actually, I haven't thought about this. We renew Larva. Oh, I think I'm blowing this right now. So he cannot move anyone. Uh, maybe on Uriomancy for uh, Apocalypse. 
seems fine. It seems fine to me. He gives us one more doomed. He plays four points. I'm gonna do that, I think. We're gonna do this. Uh, there's no way he can join it with Miruna or anything, so there's no problem in floating this. So you can see we have points and we're gonna point slam now with trees and talisman. We're gonna have points, baby. Let's go. Oh shit. Okay. So we purify the doomed Akimara. Oh. Okay, so there's some frosty frosty going on. And we don't care. We play three, so let's go. Bone Talisman, thank you very much. I think that played for like 13. I still got dominance. Still got dominance. And we pass now. We are like um, 19 points ahead, so he needs 20 points. Oh shit! Are we really 2 0 Alright. So we just 2 0 There was no mounted. So, I mean, yes, I, I mean, pushing round 1 with this deck is pretty easy. Because it's a ton of points, dude. Plague Maiden is a ton of points, and. Uh, yeah. Seems fine. Seems fine to me. Uh, so there we go. Let's go for a third game. And let's see what you get. Well, that was fast. I think I'm liking this deck a lot, dude. Rena, my Rena. Uh, let's see Plague Maiden. Let's see Plague Maiden. Oh yeah. Uh, no. There's no Plague Maiden. Um, Plague Maiden, uh, I need you. Nice. So. Are we kicking this? This gets rid of one larva and swarms my field by one, which is fine. It should be pretty good. Let's see. Maybe I'm forgetting about something. We will have been greater to have one of these. Uh, but anyways, um, we're gonna play this right now. This is the first time I'm trying Mounted in Overwhelming Hunger, and I know, I think it's the way. We cannot play Broxa, which is unfortunate. As if he has some big balls and joins my plate maiden. Big balls. That's never happening. We can play Broxa now. And he cannot play a special for two turns. Which is actually pretty pretty fine. It's like a condition. If you play one of these, you cannot play a special for two turns. Or at least a special that plays a unit. I guess I should have T8 to play around Dominance. So... Uh, sick Frying now is not the best idea. I think what we are doing is boosting someone. Uh, using Leader. Um, and Natural Selectioning. Because I don't really want to purify this this bleeding. We got a pass out of him. So I think we're passing because we're gonna push. Um I wonder if we should renew Coranthir. I propped the the maiden so the drone went to the range to roll. But maybe I should not have done that. Maybe I didn't need to do that. Lomards are weird in this round because we have sick fright. We got a poly. 
I think we are holding the renew for something else for next round. So we do is go with Larva. We want to push this round for sure, mate. Let's see if he has a Glasty. Glasty. Oh, she. We go Bowlet. I don't want him to casually yoink my Bowlet. So we'll just trigger, it, uh, trigger him right now. We're gonna play Maiden. Play Maiden, sick fight. Don't know. Another Braxa. So we go for this. This sick fight is gonna verify this, which is pretty fine. Um, we're always blocking this in case he has Git Wave. If he Git Waves that, uh, we are fucked. Oh, here we go. We're gonna purify. Oh, you think so? Oh, maybe yes. I mean, how am I supposed to play around that? How the fuck am I supposed to play around that? That's fucked up. And why did I play this on melee? Oh, fuck. I am fucked. I am sure... Guys, guys. I am sure I'm fucked. Welp. I guess we are going for um, for the same play. That's pretty painful, dude. Doesn't overwhelming hunger have um, heat wave? Oh no, it's devotion. Okay, so we just go for trees for the push, basically. This two playing for some points. For eight. 8 mighty points. We're still pretty high of him. The thing is that if he keeps playing like 9 points per turn, or rather 10 points per turn. Oh shit. My trees has toyed. We play this because this is gonna be shit in the next round. So we just play it. Playing mad against this deck might be feels bad, man, because he's gonna draw something bigger than my ma than my mana. <laughs> Let's see. So is he gonna do Miruna? Did I know he was devotion? I did not. So he Miruna's and okay, but we still have same cards. But he has a lot of points, dude. That's huge. And he still had Winter Queen. Okay, dude. I think we're dead. Yeah, we're pretty much dead. <laughs> he had perfect hand, dude. Holy shit. Yeah. This would be right now like um thirty one. So yeah, we got clapped basically. Um Worker just clapped, dude. Worker denied all the ball denied a lot of value. What do you do against Wercut? I don't know. I don't know. Let's go for a fourth game and let's see what we get now. I I am I am stupid. I, all I can say is that um, I'm stupid because <laughs> sorry you have not seen those numbers pretty well because I always forget to change the camera. 
This is a pretty good hand, by the way. And yeah, I. <laughs> Three games with the camera on the coin and the numbers and the crowns. I'm sorry about that. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> what a pepega! What a pepega! I'm a pepega. We're gonna do this shit. Oh, I wish I had Siegfried here. Uh, we are never gonna have dominance. Yeah, that's never happening. I think I'm gonna fuck with now. Then matter. Foglet. I know this one might be awkward because there's there's gonna be a game at least not in this video because this is the fourth game and this video is gonna be long enough so my Wi-Fi is gonna have to take uh, more than 24 hours to upload this video. So maybe in the next episode we're gonna get a game where we, I mean Sigfried is gonna get, is gonna be played two times and Mounted is gonna be over 30 points. Uh, maybe not today though. Go ranged! Oh no, no, no one spawned. Right. No! What about me, Larva? I was gonna die anyways by the dude. It's always matter. Matahuri. We got the maiden. Yeah, I mean this room might be too much awkward. It might be too awkward. Not too much awkward. Please speak correctly, Jagger. It might be too awkward because uh, it always it also um, Blocks your mana if this is in your deck. Blocks your 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 plague maiden from mana. I might actually get rid of that. I know. Maybe in the uh, probably what I'm gonna do between episodes is I'm gonna keep playing with this, and then I'm gonna test a version without Renew with something else uh, because this thing costs two provisions, and I'm renewing like a larva or 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 I don't know, dude. I think it is shitty because yeah, for the reasons I just stated. So, how are we gonna win this round? I don't know because we don't have Puntalis, man. Yeah, yeah, I might change the deck for the next episode. I don't know what to do. I'm gonna lose my mind. I'll do this. The thick Hemdal. He thick boy and he damages your rats and kills them. Just like a thick workout. Is he gonna blow him though? Wow. You realize I have this in my hand, so I can replay it. I can renew Karanthir. <laughs> to renew Karanthir? So he gets mad? Let's, let, let's go for it now, dude. I'm feeling like it. I'm feeling like trolling this dude. Let's fuck this guy. Yo, I have more, what up? Your stupid play was useless. <laughs> so we lead her, because we need points. As you can see, we need points, so we lead her. And now he can't, he doesn't have wild bird, but the thing is that he's gonna have Kendall and we're gonna still lose. So feels bad, man. Uh, the only way we win is now we push on to. Uh, we could risk a mulligan, uh, basically because we have to. Dude, we we needed trees, secret, bone talisman, any of those. Um, I think that now we lose. And. And we got the Raider, like, I mean the Rider. 
What am I supposed to do? I I needed to take that mulligan. Um, there's no way we can push this, and playing six flight is useless. I mean, not. I mean, I'd rather just try to let. Let's see if we can. We can like win. Let's see if we can win. We need the word in my dictionary that. No, it doesn't exist because I play these decks. So this sick fright might be fine. We're always kicking that. Uh, the sick fright, I think we are always going to in the sick fright. I think that bone talisman or the petri filter is going to be much better. Okay, so we get sick fight again. Fuck. Oh look, Mount of this dead. I guess we gotta try to like kill this with some bleeds and then natural selection. I don't know dude. How am I supposed to win this game? It's winnable. It's just winnable. The thing is that dude, only if that was this or this. So let's try if this uh, dies by bleeding, uh, that will be the best case. I'm gonna play this now. Let's see if this doesn't get purified or healed or buffed. Um, maybe he's not playing Grammist. Then we might win. But this has to die, for sure. And if we have to use the trees for this to die, we are probably gonna lose. You understand, right? That's how that that's how it works. Um, this needs to die. This is so annoying, dude. What if what if we gave Mounted an armor? So it didn't get killed by this thing. Like it's an insta kill, dude. Like. What am I supposed to do? Uh, he's probably setting him though. Um, he of course has a lot of a lot of goals. So we go for this now. Yeah. I mean, you know I have played Maiden in hand. Why don't you wait the little? Until I play play medium and somehow not blow this. Okay, so this died. Now I can go for little these trees, um, heal a bunch of units. That seems fine. I'm losing points, but I'm denying bloodthirst. I'm gonna just do it, you know. He's gonna have like Madman logos and this denies it, which is pretty good. So we do that. And let's go trees. We got it. Oh and there we go. That's a 16 point. Bone talisman! Let's go! Let's get it boys! We can do it! We might win actually. No! I wanted to sick fight before he did that. Ah, stop, stop, stop. Okay, so we go for sick fight like right now. Yo, this is actually winnable, guys. This would be so great. It would be so good if we won this game. Why? Because he pulled. While we're of the sea, that's why. Oh, and that is Skjordal. Well, that's a lot of points. That's a that's a that's a lot of points actually. I think we are not winning, but yeah, we tried, we tried, boys. Only we had had one more. Bone Talisman, but whatever guys, 
Uh, I'm probably gonna... Um, I mean, renew makes sense. But it's also very improbable that we're getting two sick fights. Because it, it's difficult to get one sick fight to purify a lot of doom. Uh, it's gonna be difficult to get two of them. And this block's played me then. Yeah, this might not be good in this deck. But yeah, I'm just I'm just gonna change it for the next episode. I also like to test the decks before um, recording a video about it. You can also um, uh, getting based on this idea of you get overwhelming hunger for one plague maiden, another plague maiden, and your foglet, which is pretty damn good uh, leader usage. Yeah, it, it just looks perfect, and you can. Um, just change the cards and and maybe tell me about yo this is a good idea you could try to check this out for the next video um, so yeah what I'm sure about is that I'm not going to play this card because they nerfed it by one provision and by one point and now it doesn't proc thrives because it's not a six and it's absolute dog shit. Um, while this card um, just remains the same, every evolving card is 12. What has my Ogron done to you? And why does Miraxus remain the same? Uh, there's like some people, like at least like four people that have subbed because I started. Um, Uploading this when the gameplay, so I'm, I'm pretty happy about that. Um, we have like 27 subscribers. I hope you enjoyed the video, like and this stuff. I really like to see comments. Um, every time I get a notification about a comment, I'm pretty happy. Because then I can hear or more like, more exactly read what you think about the video or the deck or about me. And that makes me very happy. So I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, stay tuned for a second episode because this deck is for sure gonna cap a second episode and I'll see you guys in the next episode that's gonna be in, I don't know, for sure like in 6 days because this, this video is actually gonna be uploaded like in 2 days at least because of my wife, so yeah. See ya.